welcome to Meals with Misty, a show where I invite local entrepreneurs, restaurateurs, chefs, special guests to cook with me, show me how to cook or cook off. And today I have one of my very, very special friends. I'm really excited to have her here today. She's a local entrepreneur, real estate agent, and so much more. Let me introduce you to Eileen Lindo. Hello, Eileen. How are you? Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in and everybody at home watching us. Yes. So I'm excited to have you here today. Tell me, what are we going to be doing? So today we are going to be focusing on Honduran tacos. Everybody loves tacos, so I wanted to show you what we call tacos. Okay. I know it's a little bit like what Mexicans would say, flautas, sí. right? Sí. But a little Correcto. different. Okay. <laughs> so what would be the first step of this? So I would always recommend to start putting seasoning in everything, like our repollo, which is cabbage. Uh, cut up some cabbage, a little bit of carrots, and marinate it in vinegar, salt, lemon, and pepper. Just let it sit for a couple hours while we are boiling our chicken. So the chicken, yes, will be boiled in water. Again, limon, onion, tomato, cilantro, all the good herb, herbs that will make it taste good after we're done with the, with the boiling because after that we will have to shred it. Okay. Uh, shred it thin, fine, or a little bit thicker. It's just your own preference on how you want your chicken to be rolled in the tortillas. Nice. Um, from that broth, though, we are going to be making our salsa. Okay. So, as you know, <laughs> uh, la gente en Honduras, we don't really like spicy food. We just, it's yeah. just not our thing, really. Yeah. So, what we do with the salsa is we use the chicken broth, but then we do add a little bit of uh, spices, like salt, pepper, cilantro, onion, and a little hint of sugar. I know it sounds mm -hmm. weird, but it just makes the difference. Yes, and she put some ketchup <laughs> in there too, which yes. I was a little surprised. I'm like, you're putting ketchup? Ketchup, okay. a little bit of tomato so sauce. Ketchup, just yes. So it can give the consist consistency. You don't want it to be too thick, but you don't want it to be too thin either because yeah. it will go on top of everything. Um, wow. Then we have our crema, but in Honduras we do call it mantequilla. Oh. So we have our mantequilla that will also go on top and of course some grated cheese here. And then we are going to chop up some tomatoes and onion just so we can have a little pico on top of all of this deliciousness. Oh, okay. All right, so I'll start with the onions. So I know you're a real estate agent. That's your main thing, right? That's right. What made you get into that? Well, I was going to a transition in life and um, my passion has always been helping people. And I wanted to help uh, people know that home ownership is achievable, especially our Hispanic community. Um, mucha gente hispana piensa que hay que tener como mucho dinero ahorrado, and that sometimes isn't the case. There are special programs uh, in Kansas City, in Missouri, and Kansas that will help you with up to three and a half percent down payment assistance programs. Um, also, I'd like to help investors start becoming financially. Finan finan I like helping my investors become financial financially free through real estate. Um, that means when you have owned a home for years, you have equity in your house. So you could either pull out your equity and start investing in other homes, making them rentals, or just pulling out equity to upgrade your house. There's really so many ways into real estate that I love helping people, so that's kind of my passion. Yeah, I love that. That's awesome. And you know, the information, you just don't know what you don't know. Right. So finding out the information is key right. and then acting on it is also important. So how long have you been doing real estate now? Um, so in February, so it will be know? three years. Um, as everything, first six months was a lot of work, networking, uh, getting to know people, learning about all the different programs that, there's, that there are out there yeah. so I could educate my clients. Um, after those six months, I finally helped my first client and it just came, kept kind of rolling from there. Um, nice. Yeah, so real estate is definitely my passion, but I also have another passion, which is modeling. And that's how I met her, my best friend. Um, <laughs> I think we've been knowing each other for over five years. We mm -hmm. met on a set of a, of a movie, which is funny. That's true. Yes. Um, <laughs> And that's kind of been my other hobby, passion. I was really modeling in 2018. 
Now I'm kind of stepped away, but I'm still behind the scenes and helping aspiring models, nice. you know, do runway or photo shoots or anything like that. And we have our mm -hmm. second annual fashion show coming up November 8th. Yes, I hope you guys are there. It's called Fine Dine and Fashion. It's gonna be at a restaurant called Chef Tito's and it's just gonna be a great immersive dinner experience with fashion, mm -hmm. um, magic, performers, and a lot more. Definitely, you guys should join us. Tickets are out. So like I said, it's one of our passions so you don't wanna miss out on seeing our dreams come true. That's true. <laughs> um, but yes, right now she's basically finishing up the tomatoes. Uh, that way we can just also let it marinate with a little bit of limon, salt, and pepper. Okay. As you all can tell, we like limones. That's <laughs> all Latinos do. But yes. you gotta have, a, and you know, my daughter now, she can't have, a, a lot of things she can't have without lemon anymore. She'll go to restaurants and she'll be like, uh, can I have my lemon please? Yes, <laughs> she yes, has yes. to. Um, okay, so once I'm done with this pico, um, what are we going to do? So after we are done with the pico, we are going to start rolling our tacos. Okay. Um, so that I'll show you all how to roll the chicken inside the taco and then we'll fry them. Okay. And we're going to pop these in the uh, microwave for a little bit just to soften them up and make them more rollable. Um, and we will be right back. All right, so now our tortillas are all nice and moldable and warm. So you're gonna show me how to do it first because I wanna make sure I'm doing it right. <laughs> so yes, we are going to roll these tacos the catracha the way. Oh, the catracha <laughs> way. <laughs> so um, what I was saying about the chicken, after we do boil it and have it ready to go, you can shred it thinly or thick, just depends on your own preference. I like to put, you know, just a good amount here. You don't want to make them too thin, but you don't want to make them too big where you can't roll them. Okay. So you kind of scoot the meat to the corner and then just start rolling. Okay. If you know how to roll, I think you'll be just fine. <laughs> Perfect. And then the toothpicks really do come in handy. Um, you know, you can place them down. However, the toothpick just really secures them right here. Okay. And then we'll just, I'll do one more and then you sure. got it. Sure. <laughs> you got it. We'll try it out. Okay. And um, I know we boiled uh, two chicken breasts and it's going to probably make a good maybe dozen or so mm -hmm. about. So it's up to you guys how many you want to feed. Um, and if you have the longer ones of these, you can always roll up more at a time. But we're going to do yes. what, two or three might fit in there? Yeah, I think two yeah. will fit comfortably in there. And then, okay. like I said, they're pretty decent size. You, like I said, I don't want to make them too thin, not too big either, where okay. they're confused with burritos. <laughs> no burritos here. The catracha tacos. The catracha way. Okay. <laughs> so let's stuff it. Mm -hmm. Good? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. She's a pro. There we She's go. A pro. <laughs> Stick it in there. Good? Yes. That's okay. perfect. Like I said, the toothpicks really secure secure them, not making the chicken fall out and making a mess in the oil. So what do you feel is the key difference between Honduran food and like other Hispanic food? What do you think like makes you guys stand out the most? Yeah. Well, I just actually came back from Honduras on Friday. Mm -hmm. So I got to experience a little bit of everything. Yeah. And I will definitely say it's the spices. I mean, like okay. our food is definitely full of flavor. Very flavorful, mm. pero no pica, para nada. Okay. Like you actually had to ask for hot sauce on the side. And when you ask for hot sauce on the side, there's no mild, it's super spicy. So that's kind of what makes it stand out is the different rich flavors without, without having making to it spicy. Picante. Yeah, without I having see. to make it spicy. Okay. At least that's what I, I believe. Um, yeah, I could see that. You know, even the tacos, they're so different than your Me your Mexican tacos are just your culture tacos, which we do love Mexican tacos, don't get me wrong, yeah. but yeah. if you were to be at Honduras and you ask for tacos, they will bring you out these. One of these. Yes. <laughs> See, I, and I wouldn't have thought that, yes. so that's good to know. Um, another <laughs> one is uh, enchiladas, you know, because enchiladas here are something that's spicy and they're rolled over mm -hmm. there. They're kind of like a flat tortilla with beans. We use a lot of chicken, queso y mantequilla. So we have a lot of, we have almost the same things, but they're different names. Yeah. So. Yep. I love it. 
Well, um, I think it's time to fry them, yes, right? Yes, ma'am. So we're gonna take it over here, now and we're gonna get we'll be right back. So you should have your oil a little bit warm, just so uh, when we put them in there, they are just a little bit of that crisp. Be careful, you guys, don't wanna hurt yourself, but have it at a low. Um, and you do want to crisp them until golden brown, which will be about one or two minutes. And like I said, the good thing about the toothpicks is it will hold it in place. That way you can just grab them and flip them. And I'll show you all how to flip them here in just a quick second. So once we get going, honestly, the more you roll, the better because you can fry them all together. And this is one of the last steps, so. And then after you have them a little bit golden brown, you just want to flip them on each side. And then we will uh, let those fry and bring them over here on this side. And then we have the golden tacos. Yum. All right, so now we're gonna start assembling them. Okay. Um, we usually like to put a little bit of repollo okay. um, on top of them after we put the tacos. You want like, to make them just be on top. It doesn't have to be perfectly neat. Should we take the toothpick out? Um, oh, no. Sure. Leave it? I mean, we can leave it that way. When people pull them out, you can pull them out oh, one or two or three. Okay, okay. Just okay. be careful, especially if you have kids. If you do have kids and are um, giving them this for dinner, then you are more than welcome to out. pull them out. Yeah. Okay. So then, yes, you just kind of want to make a cute little pile. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. <laughs> and then we want to put the salsa on there, just maybe half a tablespoon or two. Just depends on your own liking. Okay. Then we want to put el queso, and that just also goes on top, a little bit all over the place. Yeah. La mantequilla. La mantequilla. <laughs> La we mantequilla. Have to no crema. And, and like I said, just also a little bit across. Okay. And last, well, almost last, just put a little bit of your pico on top. And then we do want to add a little bit more salsa on top of everything. Okay. Yes. Okay, so you double that. You double the salsa. Okay. That's why we did have a, a good amount here. And then yeah. your tacos catrachos should look this way. <laughs> that looks so good. Yeah, I'm so, so excited. excited to taste it. Let's see. Let's see what she thinks. Taste test. We'll take a little bit of repollo. And then make sure that you kind of dip it in the salsa and okay. repollo. It's a little messy, but the messier the better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what do you think? Mm -hmm. A lot of flavors. Because the mantequilla salty, that's a little bit more of like the freshness. Mm -hmm. This is a good little like tanginess. And the chicken savory, so it's a good, it's a good mix. Yes. I love yes. it. Mm -mm. It's definitely a very flavor flavorful meal. It doesn't take long, honestly. And like I said, you can make it as either an appetizer mm -hmm. or you can have it as your main course. I love that. Well, I'm really glad you were able to come today and of show course. us how to make the catracho tacos. <laughs> and tell what are, what's next for you now? Yes. So always real estate. Um, if anybody's out there thinking about buying, selling, or uh, learning how to invest in real estate, don't be afraid to contact me. You can reach me on Facebook under Eileen Lindo. También hablo español para mis clientes hispanos. I'm always out here trying to mm -hmm. teach everybody and show them that, like I said, there's a lot of special programs that can help you become a homeowner. Um, and of mm -hmm. course, our sec second annual fashion show that's coming up November 8th at Chef Tito's. Uh, tickets are on sale now, and you can also find that information either on my Facebook or Instagram. I'm more active on Facebook, and I will also share some home buying tips on there if you all want to watch. Okay, well, you heard it. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. And if you guys try us at home, let us know. Let us know what you think. And we'll be here next time at Meals with Misty. Oh, and thank you so much to RM West Apartments here at the River Market for allowing us to use this beautiful space, this kitchen. We want to thank you. And... We look forward to creating many more awesome episodes for you guys here at Televida. See you next time at Meals with Misty. Gracias. <laughs> oh.